guys, we just got out of Monkey Man. Monkey Man beat me up and I think I'm, I like it. So let's talk about this movie. This movie is great. What the heck? Why did it take me so long to go see this movie? Because I was busy. That's why. I under, I know I really wanted to see it. I had heard such good things about it. And Dev Patel is a like mad genius. I can't even imagine. Me watching this movie, I was so tired getting out of it just from watching all the action and how much it really puts you in the emotions of the characters that are in these fight sequences. <sighs> and chase scene, oh my gosh, a chase scene that never ended. But at the same time, imagine being the director, the story creator, who also worked on the screenplay and is also the lead. I'm tired thinking about that. That sounds like so many things. Good lord. Good lord. Especially when you consider everything that went on in this movie, and I'm sure he was very much involved in a lot of the stunts, or you know, as much as he probably could be, realistically. I'm sure the stunt team in this, holy moly, like what a round of applause. The stunt coordination in this, the way the stunts are set up, the way they are shot, the cinematography, I don't even know where to start with this movie because every single element of it is so good. I'm not going to talk about spoilers, but I am going to get, I think, a little bit more into the story and some of the more specific sequences and themes and things that came up in the full review. So if you want more of that, then check out the review. But for this reaction, we're just going to talk about some of the categories in regards to the film and how I felt about how those were done. So first things first, let's talk about action. The action is, it is John Wick level of action, but I feel like it's more grounded and a bit more gritty. And I say that with much love of John Wick. If you are, if you know me, you know probably that I like action. And if you're new to the channel, hello, I'm Amanda. I love action movies. <laughs> and the action in this does not disappoint. This is actually, how action should be shot and how it should be communicated in terms of the story. So many of these sequences are like master classes in how you shoot and tell an action story just through a sequence. Like it understands the beats, it understands how to set stuff up, it is not afraid to do a single take, but it, there are moments where the action is messy, but you don't lose the story of what's happening in the fight. And a lot of people seem to think when you want a fight that feels messy, it needs to be confusing. Um, no, that's not true. And this is a prime example of how you do that correctly. The acting in this is also stellar. It is, I mean, I mean, you know, I feel like Bobby is just amazing. It's a, such a cool character to get to explore and while it is kind of this revenge plot this revenge movie it just feels more grounded in some ways than some other movies in that kind of style that I've seen before and I think a lot of it has to do with not being afraid to really zoom in and trust a performance I think sometimes with action movies, we have a tendency to make things like really big. And this is not afraid of those little moments. It's highlighted honestly in the first scene in the way that I would say that is shot. It's shot like with these extreme close ups of just like little parts of people's faces. And like, if you are an amazing actor, I am, I don't think that you have anything to be worried about with an extreme close up, other than everyone being able to count every single pore that you have on your face. However, I also will say that I feel like the uh, I don't know what film they used for this or what they shot it on, but I really loved the grain on it, actually. I thought it was really good. Do you know? No idea. Duck? I don't know, but it looks amazing. Like, visually, this is also just a feast. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about the cinematography. This reminded me, what was I saying? It reminds me kind of of, like, it's got a slumdog millionaire kind of sheen to it in terms of the shininess. But I was saying that it also reminds me of um, like Boz Luhrmann almost in the way that he likes to shoot a movie. Like it's, 
These extreme close-ups, sometimes cuts are really fast. They're not afraid to use slow-mo, but they also use slow-mo in ways that are compelling and interesting as opposed to this isn't a movie that's using slow-mo in the action sequences it's actually more about creating an atmosphere I feel like when they're using it and I love how trippy it is it's so trippy I love trippy cinema I think that's why for me this movie actually might be the best movie so far of 2024 for me how do you feel about that duck even better than dune 2 I think Maybe it might be better than Dune 2 for me. What do you... Is that controversial? Uh, no, I don't think so. I think that this is a really solid film from start to finish. I mean, maybe the story in Dune 2 might be the only place where... I mean, because it's, you know, because it's Dune. But... Might be the only place what? Where I think it won... Like, I think the story in Dune 2 might be the only place where it maybe one-ups this movie. Uh. But that's also just because it's Dune. Like, there's going to be stuff that's a little bit more, I guess, like, poetic, just in terms of the writing and in terms of what people are saying. But this has those moments. They just aren't necessarily in language and dialogue, is what I would say. They're kind of baked into, like, the visuals. And oh, there's so many sequences I want to talk about. Yeah, well, th this, this, movie, <laughs> so good. this movie made me feel a lot of things. Yeah. Uh, emotions. It made me feel exhaustion. It made me feel anxious. Like, like almost this feeling of desperation of like, get me out of this scene right now. I think what it is too is that it's a very reactive film. It's very much a film that is focused on the, if you're in a situation, as a, when you're with characters in a situation, their reaction to something, as opposed to necessarily being about as much of like an instigation. It kind of takes a shift, I would say, in the sort of last third of the movie, where it gets a little bit more about like, like I'm the, I'm the instigator. But I feel like a lot of what makes it so good is watching people in these situations, like watching someone in a fight and when, you know, someone is shot or someone is, you know, hit, like stabbed, how they react. Like, gosh, they really sell it. But it's also in the pacing and the way that they shoot it. The sound is also amazing. Like today we also saw Abigail right and that's like kind of a horror kind of a supernatural horror has elements of action in it film and that sound pales in comparison to monkey man monkey man is like down to we were talking about footsteps and the way that those sound and i was like they sound so good like every element from sound effects to the way the music is integrated uh it's just amazing i am in cinema heaven I think overall, I give it a five. I think it's a pretty easy five. Five monkey masks out of five. Five monkey masks out of five, yeah. What do you think? That's that's my score. Yeah, all right. We're on it together. Five. Where does it rank for you in terms of films of the year so far? I don't know. i got to sit on it for a little bit longer. But it's definitely it. up there. I really enjoyed this film. Yeah, I can't say definitively that it overtakes Dune 2, but it's... Right now, having just come out, that's what I want to say. So we'll see how I'm feeling like next week. But do you think it could take Dune 2? It's got a chance. It's got a chance. So yeah, you should definitely see it if you can in theaters. And also definitely support it because it's, um, you know, it's an original story. And I love that. It's clearly a lot of passion that was in this. It was also made during the pandemic, I believe. And there was, they didn't know if this movie was even going to get made because of so many things they ran into. So Way to go. Great job, team. Proud of you. All right, well, thanks so much for watching this uh, reaction. We'll have a full review for you because there are so many sequences I need to talk about, but I don't want to spoil any of them because I want you to experience them fully in the theater, the biggest theater you can get into, please. All right, that's it for this one, friends. Until next time, stay nerdy. Bye!